Welcome back, y'all. Today is going to be kind of all over the map. We got all kinds of things we got to get done today. First things first, I got to build one more small garden box. The other thing is, if you're paying any attention to what's going on in some of the YouTube channels or the news, uh, there may or may not be a fuel shortage and or a hydro problem, meaning they're talking about the grid going down, which is not good, but that's mainly in the U.S., but who knows? We're here in Canada. Anything can happen. So what we got, like I said, what we got to do today is we got to build one more garden box, get it filled with dirt, which I've got a pile of dirt over there. Second thing we got to do is we got to run to a certain gas station to fill up our reserves because we've used it up. Now the price of gas here is $1.55 a liter right now in our town. Uh, there are places that are considerably cheaper, which is what we're going to do. We're going to hop in the truck, we're going to load up the cans, and I'm going to take you along as we go fill up our reserves because should the grid go down, gas stations are not going to be able to pump the fuel or make a sales transaction. And uh, let's say the ATMs may not work. Am I being paranoid? I don't think so. It's called being prepared. So let's get this box built, then we're going to make a run and get some fuel. box built simple as that three foot by three foot using six foot uh, fence boards we're gonna go over here and put it in place fill it with dirt now we get our mat put down and in the dirt rocket scientist forgot the weed mat we just won't tell her I forgot the weed mat all right the last box is built the reason I say it's the last box <laughs> I don't have room for any more and that is going to be seven bags of dirt. On to the next job. Well, it is the next morning. Sorry about the wind, guys. Uh, last night was Saturday night, which means Nate and I took off and went to the Southern Ontario Motor Speedway for some dirt racing. Jen was working here, on the other hand. Look what she got done. Filled the other box. She's got it planted already. Those are looking pretty good. Those tomatoes are still looking good. In here she planted more tomatoes. They all look pretty good as well. Over here we got our strawberries. And in here we got our peppers. Those are looking pretty good too. Anyway, our mission today is to go get some fuel and to pay the best price we can pay, as I mentioned before. Uh, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So we're off to Leamington to go fill up some gas cans. Uh, last night we got a little tied up. It was continuing on though. We got to get some fuel. We are heading to Leamington to get some fuel. Uh, why? Because it's cheaper. Uh, no disrespect to my hometown. Anytime the gas goes up elsewhere, usually our gas in town stays the same. But Leamington just happens to be quite a bit cheaper. I'll show you when we get there. All right, we have just left the gas station. Stopped off at another store. To show you what we got here. So we filled two, four, six, eight gas cans. 
get you out of the wind here. That costs two hundred and thirty dollars, even for those eight gas cans, and they're like they're twenty-five liter gas cans. So it's a buck thirty-eight a liter, and then I filled my truck up. So in total, I think we saved maybe twenty-five or thirty bucks just by coming here. I had nothing else to do this morning, so went for a quick drive. And these people are going to say, oh, you spent that money in gas getting there. Mm, no, I didn't. This is about being prepared. So I have fuel. If I need fuel for my vehicles, I got fuel for my vehicles. Now, mind you, it's not going to fill each, each of them up, but it's going to be enough to get me where I need to go, hopefully. And uh, we just keep rotating the fuel out. So if it's getting around, you know, five or six months of this fuel sitting in the can, I'll put it in my vehicle. And then I'll go refill that can up just so we keep the fresh fuel in there. The idea is, we found this out a couple months ago. The power went out and it lasted almost two days. I made a video on that. And uh, it was a good thing I did out of the gas because we ran our generator for 24 hours nonstop. Um, had we not had the fuel, we would not have had any power. And in turn, we would have lost a whole lot of food in the freezers. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. That's kind of the way we're looking at it. There's a lot of uncertainty. Let's just put it that way. And like I've said many times, I don't get political on this channel, nor do I need to get political. But we don't want to be standing in a government line looking for something. So that's why we are prepared for whatever may or may not happen. And if it doesn't, great. We got a lot of extra stuff. If it does happen, we are prepared. That's all. To each his own. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, like I said, probably not a lot to this video. Um, just trying to make some people aware. That's all. We'll see you all in the next one. Later.